Welcome to Squarespace. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to optimize high-res images for your Squarespace website. Um, now, Squarespace typically will resize any images down to 1500 pixels automatically, and it does um, several different sizes uh, depending on what size screen you're viewing it on. So it, basically, uh, Squarespace will optimize your images for web and mobile usage. Um, however, we have two recommended sizes that we suggest using for your Squarespace website. The uh, first one is at 2500 pixels wide. You don't have to worry about the height, mostly worry about the width in this case. The reason that we go 2500 pixels, um, for if you look at our 460 communications website, all of these images have been saved down from the high res to 2,500 pixels wide. This way, if you're viewing it on a very large screen like I'm currently using, or if you go down to a smaller screen, that image in the background will retain its look and uh, image quality. If we go into the site and look at one of the other pages, you'll see that we've got smaller galleries. These images only need to be at 1,500 pixels wide. And the reason that we scale these images down is it'll in help increase the load time of your pages. So, let's actually see how this is done. We are currently using Photoshop CC to do this uh, image sizing in, but essentially the same uh, principles will apply to any program that you happen to be using. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is go up to Image go down to image size and we can see that this high-res image is at 300 dpi approximately 5600 pixels wide. We need now to get this down to web resolution so I'm going to click on the resample button. We're going to change that 300 to 72 dpi or pixels per inch. We're going to re-click on the resample button and we're going to go back up to pixels and then from here you simply have to choose either 2500 or 1500 uh, for the width and just let the height automatically scale. Once you've got the size just hit OK and that will resize your image but as you can see the resolution is still quite good. The next thing we want to do is save that image. Now we don't want to save over our high res image because you may need to go back to that at a later date or you may need it for print or other materials. So I usually create a folder called Web Resolution. I keep the same file name, but I save this lower res image into the Web Resolution folder. So we'll hit Save. You can just leave Maximum As Is. In Photoshop, it'll actually give you how big the file is going to be before you even save it. Now if you notice that your images are more than 2 megabytes, they're probably too big and will cause slow loading times on your site. Typically, if they're under 500 kilobytes or under a megabyte, I find that they load quite well and quite fast on the site. So we're just going to hit OK. And if we go back to our folder, we'll see we've got our high res image. And there's our web resolution image. And that's it. Thank you for choosing 460 Communications. If you require additional information, please contact your designer or visit squarespace.com.